This epic journey was conceived during the lockdown of spring 2020. Like most people, this new reality had turned my world upside down. And it was this, and this alone, that kept me sane. But there's only so many roads you can go down in a day. There's really only so far you can go. And I wanted so much more. I wanted to explore Norway. And first stop was Stavanger on the west coast. Now to get to this town, you can take the official cycling route along the south coast. It's both scenic and very beautiful. But I wanted something more adventurous, something more challenging, something more extreme. So I decided to go over the mountains. Not just one mountain range, but two. Now when lockdown eased off in May, I was ready to go. But of course, there was another problem. So, it's like 8th of May today. 8th of May, well into spring, actually nearly into summer. You know, we're talking three weeks and summer is here. And, oh God damn it. Look at this, look at this. May, there's still snow about. So while we wait for the snow to melt, here's the plan. Day one, we begin heading down the east side of Oslo Fjord until we reach a town called Moss. From there, we cross over the fjord and we head through the towns of Tunsberg, Sandefjord, and then to the end of Oslo Fjord where it meets the sea. Day two, we head through Larvik and Porsgrunn, and then it's goodbye towns, hello wilderness. Lakes, mountains, and endless forests, this is Telemark, one of the most beautiful areas of Norway. Day three, we continue the adventure through the forests along the lakes until we reach a small little village called Darlin. And then it's a big climb out, 850 meters over a mountain plateau and down to a valley where we camp for the evening. And then day four, it's the big one. Over the Scandinavian mountain range, climbing above and over 1,000 meters until we reach Lisa Fjorden, one of Norway's most beautiful fjords, and we drop down. And when I say we drop, we literally drop down along the fjord and then it's just 40 kilometers cruising in to Stavanger. 520 kilometers, nearly 8,000 meters of elevation gain. This is one epic ride. Now I understand some people are going to be interested in the bikepacking setup and the bike itself and I will do a full review on both in another video. But for the time being, all you need to know is that this bike weighed 28 kilos plus water. Do I recommend that much weight going over the mountains? Oh my god, this is such a hard climb. No. Why was it so heavy? Because I was travelling all the way to the north of Norway after Stavanger. If you're going to go this route, I recommend a bike setup of around 12 to 18 kilos. Not really much more than that. Alright, enough info. Snow has melted, it's time to ride. Goodbye, Oslo. The road awaits, my friends. The road awaits. The adventure begins here.
open road, no cars, blue sky, not a cloud in the sky. After about 60 kilometers, we reach Son, a small little town by Oslo Fjord. It's very pretty, and some nice little restaurants and cafes there. Usually at this point, you turn around and head back to Oslo. But not today, my friends. The road continues. So once I cross over Oslo Fjord, I'm into new territory. Roads I've never been down before, towns I've never visited. This is what bikepacking is all about. Getting out there and exploring new places. Come off the ferry, Horton, and there's this really cool cycling path which runs along the main road, heading out of the town towards Tunsberg. Pretty damn cool. But this is the uh, rich side of the fjord. So if you're expecting a fancy new cycling path, it's definitely going to be on this side. Naughty, naughty. Oh, look at this. Your own private road. Perfect back road through the farms onto way onto Sandefjord. Really tired now. It's been a hot day, as I said, and I'm just gonna chill out now and have some food later and get myself ready for tomorrow. All right, day one complete, guys. Oh, day one complete. Until tomorrow, how to bra. Day two, here we are, sun is shining, looks like it's going to be another warm day today and we are saying goodbye to Oslo Fjord. On the very end of the fjord now or basically the mouth to the sea so we're going to head now inland towards the forests, towards Tallimark, get away from all the civilization area and into the wilderness and this is when the adventure really begins. This road is getting better and better. Passing a lot of lakes now, it's just so spectacular and I'm just basically the only person here. It's been a very tough last few hours through the gravel. A lot of elevation gained today. As you can see, I'm out of breath, out of breath right now after that climb. But I mean, the view, views are just getting better and be better and better now as I get away from civilization and head into the nature. Look at this. Look at those snowy mountains there. And now I've got a bit of a descent. Look at this, look at this. What a road.
this, my friends, is the perfect camping spot. Oh, yes! So I'll just give you a little guided tour of my new place for this evening. I've got the uh, drying room here and uh, garages over here and then uh, living quarters and kitchen is here with the bathroom and then swimming pool is here. It's pretty big the swimming pool. Didn't really ask for this big swimming pool this big but you know can't complain. Well, this is quite nice. Oh, oh, that's cold. Now, I was expecting that cold. Oh my god. <laughs> 